Okay, there's an ancient Chinese proverb that goes, the more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in battle. So I, I really like this idea and I thought I would discuss it in this video. So a lot of people tend to look at the results of success or the results of people conquering some sort of adversity. For example, some Olympians or some generally athletes you see them on the playing field and you see them do these tremendous things, these acts of physical strength and skill and we're in awe and we tend to forget about the sweating before the battle, All right? For example, Olympians, before they're on the grand stage performing in front of billions of people, performing in front of the world and other elite competitors, they spend four years of grueling training with a strict training regime, a strict diet, <coughs> and waking up early mornings just to get it in. But we overlook that. <coughs> During the four years, we're doing our own thing. We're not really thinking about Usain Bolt or Johan Blake or Michael Phelps. But they're busy sweating, preparing for the battle. Now, when you think of our own personal development as if we're an Olympian, as in what's necessary for our success or what's necessary to help us face our adversity is the day-by-day -day things we do prior to the great challenge. We can look at ourselves as warriors and every single thing we do every day as like a small battle. The more battles we get into, we start becoming more like seasoned veterans, you know? We start having the skills and the mindsets and the discipline to tackle the big challenge that's ahead instead of just aiming blindly and getting there and not knowing what to do. And when people see us and how we are able to take care of business when it's necessary, they're amazed and they think that we are lucky or that we are blessed. But they're forgetting that just like the Olympian, we've been training every day, we've been working at it. Now I keep talking about a big thing or a big challenge, some adversity, what our battle is different, everyone's battle is different, but it can come in an array of form. It's a seven-headed dragon. There's different things that could happen that would force you to step up as a person and really test you. For example, another economic recession could happen, like in 2008, when people, hundreds and thousands of people lost their jobs and were really tested. You see, if you had sweated previously before the recession, you have educated yourself on the economy on how money works. You have possibly, possibly had your own business or had money in savings so that when something like this happened, you weren't forced to go into poverty per se. Because some people didn't have enough money to last two months. How much money do you have right now? If an economic recession happened like in 2008, would you be able to survive? for months, weeks, years? These are questions that really show how much you've been sweating. Some people don't even need any more money. If a recession happened, they'll be all good. They'll be okay. Will you be okay? Or another bad that might happen is if you lose a loved one, would you be able to take care of the funeral? Would you be able to take care of, you know, business? Would you be able to handle stuff? Will you emotionally be able to handle things or will you just fall and collapse under the pressure? This is just another example. Not all examples have to revolve around money. It could be anything. Maybe it's the day that you actually see that one girl that you want to marry. Do you have the courage? Do you have the balls? Have you practiced? Have you gotten your confidence up previously? Or will you be speechless and not know what to say and blow the opportunity? As I said before, battles come in different heads, in different forms. It's up to you to prepare yourself in every way by getting better each and every day in every aspect of your life. So when it does come, you will be ready. And personal development is the key because it exactly it is what its name entails. It's personal development. You're developing yourself every day. It's not corny. It's not cheesy. It's necessary and it's pragmatic. And anyway, I hope you guys receive some value out of this video.
Alright guys, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the new personal development global group on Facebook. Link is in the description. Heaps of good shit for ya. This is pretty much the go-to place for all your personal development articles, um, free content for everybody, and just the whole community that we're building up. There's no spam here. Also, you can check out the link to my website, The Realized Man, right at this website. And you can suss that out. If you have something to post, make sure you check it out and come on. Anyway, have fun guys. Peace.